Hey guys, welcome back to One Tail Four Paws. It has been way too long since we put up a video, almost a year and a half now. Since then, we've had quite a few changes happening in our lives, and although I wish I would have recorded a lot that was going on, things are busy, a little crazy, and I guess it is what it is. So, I wanted to share with you today some updates on kind of what has happened, where we're at, what's going on. So the last video we posted was actually a little bit of a RV tour. We've actually changed and renovated some things in the RV quite a few times. And since then, we've changed things again. This time I think these changes are gonna be our permanent, as long as we have this RV, how they're gonna be. Our last video showed the changes we made so that we could be able to get bird cages in here. Since we've been camping, the dogs have always gone camping with us. And then when we got our ferrets, the ferrets went camping with us as well. As time went on, we did more and more camping and spent more and more time in the travel trailer as opposed to the house. So we ended up bringing the cat and we wanted to bring the birds because quite frankly, we miss them. So that was why the original changes happened. The more and more we spent time in the RV, the more we realized we much preferred being in the travel trailer versus at the house. I know some people are gonna think that's silly, but it's just the way it is. Some people don't mind less space and less things. So the last video you showed what we did to renovate things, it wasn't ideal. It took up more space than needed. The cages really didn't fit very well where they were. They blocked a bunch of cabinets and because of the cabinets, they couldn't be pushed against the wall that they were on, meaning it took up a lot of aisle space. We did it. We wanted to have the birds with us, so sacrifice is what it was so we could have them with us. However, we wanted to make this a little more long term as in we wanted to be able to stay in the travel trailer more often so we ended up changing things again we realized that being in the travel trailer there was only a few things that we were missing one obviously was the animals so we had to fix that and again we did the second thing was we missed having our computers i had a laptop we both have ipads however we missed our desktops Hindsight, I actually really wasn't missing my desktop, but we wanted a roomy space for a desk. The last tour that I did, it showed that we kept our couch and then did the bird cages on the other side. We really needed our desks. We weren't really couch people. Even when we lived at the house, we didn't really spend that much time sitting in the living room on the couch. We both had computer desks and we much preferred sitting at the computer desk while we watched TV, while we hung out. And that's just the type of people we were. So we ended up taking out the couch and I might be able to insert some photos here. I believe I have photos of it, but we made a little L-shaped desk. It was still a little crowded because the corner we had wasn't super roomy, but we were able to bring our computers in. That's my face that you're about to eat or my hair. And I ended up missing my laptop. So I ended up actually getting rid of my desktop and just using the laptop anyways. Hubby didn't like all the tower of the computer, the monitors, all the cords and stuff like that. So he also ended up just getting a laptop. Hi. But that solved the issue of now the pets have a space, which we missed the pets. We missed our computers, which just computers in general. So we, now we both had a working space for the laptops. And honestly, the only other thing we were missing was good TV. We bought a dish satellite for a while and used that. And now we just use our Wi-Fi and uh, fire sticks so we do Netflix Disney plus Hulu all, all that stuff and that works and that was really the only things that we were missing at the house so the big space and all the stuff we didn't really miss that so now that we had all the things including you guys that missed us we realized in coming to the end of the season last year when the camping season should end we didn't want to go home we were already spending from usually around April till the end of October in the RV and as the last few years went on we spent less and less time at home to the point where it just didn't make sense why go home to where we didn't want to be so last November we sold our house yes we sold our house and we now full-time live in our RV crazy so we still had our pets again we had one cat two dogs th three parrots Pancho being one of them and the four ferrets. All right, had to switch hands because he was getting heavy on the other hand. But yes, so there we were living in our RV with 10 pets. Crazy, yes, I know. One of the biggest things that I know a lot of people will be worried about watching a lot of our videos are ferrets 
they had to downsize their cage. Obviously, we were camping a lot and they were already kind of used to being in the cage and the birds did have to downsize their cages. Most people are gonna probably call it cruel. We should have gotten rid of the birds. I'm sure people are gonna have a lot of negative stuff to say, but in the end, most of them are not in their cages very often. Our ferrets free roam, they are probably sleeping at this point right now, but they've been free roaming all morning since we've been awake. These guys are usually always out and about. Uh, a lot of times we spend time outside with all of them. So a lot of the times their cages really are just sleep cages. If we are both gone, we usually put them away. But again, we don't usually spend a lot of time shopping or that kind of stuff. We still do a lot of hiking and outdoorsy stuff. And we usually take turns on who's with us. We've taken the birds hiking. We've taken the ferrets hiking. So the both of us really felt that it would be worse trying to find new homes, especially for the birds. I'm sure most people are gonna have the biggest complaint of, oh, you can't keep birds in that small of cages. The ferrets, mostly free roam all the time anyways. So we already have a lot more space than what a lot of people already give ferrets. But to us, we really felt having to rehome like the birds was gonna be worse for them than having to be in a smaller cage every once in a while. Birds tend to bond to specific people. Not always, you can get birds that are great with everybody, but a lot of the times they will bond very hard to one person. So we just felt it was in the bird's best interest to be with us and then just suffer at nighttime having a smaller cage. So that was the first big change. We sold our house and we were full-time living in the RV. Now this was in Michigan, so we did our first winter in our travel trailer in Michigan. And everyone's first question is, how cold was it? It wasn't cold at all. So we have a heater, you know, we did the necessary things to keep it warm and it was very toasty warm. And again, we had to make sure it was toasty warm because of these guys, these guys prefer warmth. So we did okay. So there we were making the modifications to full-time live in our RV. We sold our house, did winter in the RV in Michigan. And then we decided that another state would be pretty cool. Our end goal is to be able to travel full time. So we wanted to start checking out new places. So hubby started to apply for a promotion outside the state. If something came up in the state, he probably would have taken it, but we started applying to Florida, Georgia. I think he applied for Tennessee. And this past August, he ended up applying and getting a position down here in the Florida, like North Florida, South Georgia area. Oh, so another big change that has happened since the last video is we are no longer in Michigan. We are now in like the North Florida, South Georgia area. But yeah, we packed up and a lot of people are like, oh, it must've been super easy to move. Now we do have a lot of outside stuff. One of the things we like is we like being outdoors. One of the reasons why we like camping and doing those stuff. So we do have a lot of outdoorsy stuff. So we have like an awning over our grill. We have the Blackstone grill. We have a lot of patio furniture, like a couch, two chairs, uh, the table that's also like a propane fire pit. Uh, we have special bricks over our fire pit at our last campground. So we wanted to bring those with us. A lot of bird feeders because Obviously we love birds and I like to feed the outside birds as well. So all that came with us, our shed, our deck. So all that came down here. And as you can see, we got it all set up. It's a little bit different. We used to be right on the lake, which was nice. Now this is a different kind of nice cause we're kind of nestled in, in the tree area. We still have neighbors and stuff, but there's a lot of trees around here. And it's actually rather quaint. So that was some of the exciting stuff that's happened since the last video was posted. Now. I have been still posting to some of our other social media things like our Facebook page, our Instagram. And so some people, if you do follow us over there, might already know some not so exciting news was we did lose one of our ferrets. Hokey, Mr. Hokey Pokey, unfortunately did pass. He was an older ferret. We actually weren't exactly sure how old he was. He ended up coming from a family that just didn't want him anymore and they weren't really sure in his age. Um, from what they could guess, and for how long we had him. I think he passed when he was around eight years old, give or take a year. He started out with ending up with adrenal disease, which is quite common, unfortunately, in a lot of the ferrets in the United States. We got the implant, he grew back a lot of his fur. Adrenal disease, unfortunately, does cause a lot of hair loss, uh, but he did get quite a bit of his fur back. However, he did end up with another internal tumor. Now, he was already older and a uh, very sensitive dude, are you, are you gotta go potty? I think someone's gotta go potty. Okay, there you go. 
So he was an already older, he was very sensitive of all of the ferrets that we had. He was the only one that, oh, good potty. <laughs> good job. All right, bird back. Another question a lot of people ask is, how do you not have bird poop all over if they're out all the time? The two big guys always give us some kind of sign that they're gonna go potty. So we just put them back and they go potty. Little bird, meh, she's not really good at that. Uh, however, her little poops are like little baby poops, so not the big deal. All right, so back to talking about Hokey Pokey. He ended up with an internal tumor and because he was older, he was very sensitive. Of the four ferrets, he was the only one that we ended up not doing vaccinations yearly for. We tried doing vaccinations and he did not react well to vaccines at all. To the point where even like the Benadryl and the stuff that the vets will normally do to help combat those issues, they, they weren't helping and they just said for his best interest, he'd be better off without vaccines. So. Being sensitive and older, our vet really felt that trying to do a surgery to remove the tumor was going to be more risky than just trying to let him live out the last bit of life that he did have. So he did end up passing at home with his brothers. So it was very sad, but I really do feel like we gave him an excellent life. And he came and got to explore things. He got to meet other ferrets, so he got to have friends. And I just really feel... Although it's sad that we lost him, I really like to think about the much happier he life and the time that he was with us. So there you have it. Those are kind of the updates of things that have been going on. My plan now is to do much better with our videos. I like sharing what we do. I like being able to share with family and stuff that can watch back into Michigan on everything that's going on with us. So plan to see more videos. I've rebuilt our website, onetail4paws.com. So I'll be posting content on there. So, I hope that people are still around, and if you're new, welcome. I'm very excited to share our new adventures down south in the United States with our one cat, two dogs, three parrots, and three ferrets in our RV. So if that sounds interesting to you, definitely hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell so you get notifications, and yeah, see you in the next video.